everyone this is arohi and welcome back to my channel code with arohi in my today's video i'll explain you what is mask r cnn so mask r cnn is basically a extension of faster r cnn and faster r cnn is an object detection algorithm and object detection simply means to identify where the objects are actually present in the image all right so as i just told you mask r cnn is an extension of faster r cnn so just uh, see this image this is a example of object detection which can be done we can solve this kind of problem with the help of faster r cnn so what we are doing over here is uh, the, we have two objects in this image and our algorithm is finally telling us that this object is laptop and this object is phone all right so now see this image this is a example of mask r cnn so what i'm doing over here is you can see here like we are performing the object detection task over here also but additionally if you'll see this yellowish mask over here and orange mask over here so what i'm doing over here is this is a um, image segmentation right apart from object detection we are also implementing image segmentation on a image and image segmentation simply means segregating the pixels right and that simply means uh, what we want to know exactly over here is like what all pixels belong to which particular object all right so you can see over here these pixels the yellowish pixels these pixels belongs to laptop class and these pixels belongs to phone class now what is the benefit of uh, you know doing this image segmentation so for that let me show you one more example one example okay. so if you'll see this image here you can see this is a image of brain all right so on this image you can see we have one blue um image we have segmented this image and this is a blue mask basically what is happening in this particular image is uh, this this blue area is a tumor in our brain all right so uh, see image segmentation is very helpful in medical line there are other lines also where we are using image segmentation but i'm just giving you one example if you'll see this image here with the help of image segmentation we can specifically tell that where the tumor is actually uh we can tell the position of the tumor and the brain all right so this is how uh, image uh, segmentation helps us so you can see another example over here so in this example also this is the image which we gave to our algorithm and after working on it this is the output which our algorithm gave us now if you see this image over here so we have one blue color pixels over here and then we have green color pixels over here and then we have one red color uh, pixels over here so on this lungs image our algorithm segmented this image into three different masks so that simply means there are three kind of classes over here one class represents the blue mask and other cl other classes for this green mask and one class is for this red mask so we can simply tell now that the red spot this red uh, area this particular this is the infected area in the lungs okay so this is how image segmentation work and with the help of mask r cnn we can perform object detection plus image segmentation now i'll show you the layer architecture of image segment uh, sorry this mask r cnn so this is the layer architecture so first of all this is our input image this input image is going to a pre-trained cnn so pre-trained cnn the cnn network which i'm using over here is vgg16 but if you want to use any other network like resnet or any other cnn network you can use that as well so why we are using this pre-trained network over here because we want to extract features and those extracted features will become the input of regional proposal network 
okay rpn is a part of faster r cnn so guys if you are not familiar with faster r cnn then i have given one link in description section you can check that link because if you want to understand what is rpn and then what is roi in detail then you can go through those videos all right over here i'm just going to you know uh, uh, tell you the brief about it because those topics i have already explained and the link is given in description section all right so now rpn region proposal network what what will be the input to this rpn the output of this pre trained cnn and what output we are getting from this pre trained cnn uh, feature maps so we are giving those features map to rpn and if you'll see this in this convolutional layer right in this convolutional layer is acting as a classifier and this convolutional layer is acting as a regressor this classifier will tell whether the feature map which we are accepting from this pre trained network whether the feature map is having a object or not so that's why i've written 2 into 9 2 means two output classes object is present or not so basically this is a binary classifier okay so into 9 9 simply means anchor boxes number of anchor boxes so this is a binary classifier which is responsible for telling whether the object is there in a image or not and this is a regressor so this convolutional layer is actually responsible for plotting a bounding box if there is a object all right now the this is the block rpn block now the next thing is roi pooling now what would be the input to this roi pooling so we are have we are giving two inputs to roi pooling one is the output of rpn which are the regions of interest region of interest simply means the area where object has been captured and the other input to this roi pooling is the feature map from this pre trained network all right so roi pooling will have two input one a feature map from the pre trained network and the other is region of interest from the rpn okay now when roi pooling accepts this output from here and this from here now the problem over here is that we are you know uh, we are uh, getting features on different scales and different aspect ratios so the size the dimension would be different of each and every uh, uh, feature all right now the task is to make them of uh, to make all the features of fixed dimension so that is what roi pooling is doing and finally it will give us 7 into 7 into 5 and 2 again why this 7 into 7 and why uh, why we are using 5 and 2 you can check my previous videos on faster r cnn i have one video specifically on uh, roi pooling that will explain you each and everything over here all right so now just understand like this will be the output which roi pooling will give us and then we have two fully connected layers after that now the important thing to note over here is we have softmax classifier regressor and mask classifier see instead of this mask classifier rest of the architecture is similar to faster rcm all right so this softmax classifier is responsible for telling like which object is there right this classifier is telling whether there is a object or not and this final classifier is telling like which object is there and this regressor is responsible for plotting a bounding box on it and this mask classifier is responsible for giving us a mask means we, if we are giving this input to our algorithm then this classifier will tell like this is a bird this regressor will plot a bounding box on it and this mask uh, classifier will make a mask for it so this is what mask our cnn is so in my next video i'll show you the practical implementation of mask our cnn so thank you for now guys if you like my video then please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching